Hey guys, welcome to another DBMS tutorial. Today we'll be learning introduction to relational DBMS or RDBMS also it is called. So let's get started. First, we'll start with an example so that the concept is clear from the beginning itself. All right. So let's look at an example. Let's say there is a table called account. Okay. Now, why are we comparing a DBMS or relational DBMS with a table? Because relational database consists of lots of tables. All right. So let's say we have an account table. Okay. Now let's say this is the table. Now what can you see? There are three headers over here. Account number, branch and balance amount. All right. So these are the three headers of this table. Now as you can see, these are the characteristics of each account that is present in the bank. Okay. If you have a bank account, you must know that that account will have account number. Then your bank account will have a branch in which it is open. And the balance amount that is obviously every account number will have a balance amount. So these three headers represent the attributes or the characteristics. Okay. So in terms of relational database language, you call it attributes. Okay. Now the next thing that comes is a row. Okay. Now what can you see in this row? What does it mean? A row represents data that is related to each other. Okay. Let's say for example over here, we have got account number 4567. Okay. And the account numbers branch is Baroda and the amount or balance amount related to that account is 500 rupees. So all this information is related to each other. So a row is called tuple. Now the next thing we can see over here is a column. Now why is it called a domain? Because it represents only a single type of data. Okay. As you can see over here branch, it will have only the branch names or this column over here called account number. It will have only numerical value or data of a single type. All right. Similarly over here, balance amount, it will be of the single type of data. So hence it's called a domain. Okay. Now these are three important words, attributes, tuple and domain in a relational database. Now, once that is clear for you, then it will be easy for you to continue with the topic. Now let's see what are we going to cover in today's tutorial. First, we'll look at the comparison between relational database to table. All right. We have already seen that now. And the next thing, what is an attribute? Then comes what is a tuple? What is a domain? And now we are starting with the first one that is what is an attribute? All right. Now attribute is property of the entity. Okay. Just like we have seen the column header represents an attribute. The next thing is the account number, then the branch in which that account number was opened and the balance amount of that account number. Okay. So a tuple means a related information to a single unique entity. All right. Now the next thing that is, is a domain. Okay. Now what is a domain? A domain D is a set of atomic values. Now what is the meaning of atomic values? Atomic values means they are indivisible. So that is you cannot divide them further into any other categories. All right. Now let's say in a column we had the branch name. Okay. Now branch name you cannot specify like you cannot divide a branch of Baroda into something more. Okay. Or let's say there is a uh, information about the account number. You cannot divide the account number into two different parts. Okay. So that is what you mean by ac uh, atomic values. Okay. So they cannot be divided further. Okay. Now the next thing is, and we have seen the example already. Okay. That was the column that contained the branch number or the column that contained the account number. Similar examples are 10 digit mobile number. So you cannot divide a mobile number further into two things. Okay. Or an Aadhaar number. Third thing is name of a person. Now this can be listed in one column because they are single type of data. Okay. So this is a domain. Now we'll do the revision. First thing, what is the relation between a relational database and a table? Basically a relational database is a combination of multiple tables, which can be stored individually as a file. Okay. Now over here, we had seen an example of a table called account. And in terms of relational database, how it works, basically the account number branch and the balance amount, these three headers are the attributes of the account. All right. So these are three attributes. The next thing is a row is a unique combination of information that is related to each other of a particular unique entity. Okay. So the account number is related to the branch and the balance amount is related to the account number. So related information in a row is called tuple. And finally, the domain is a list of 
similar type of information or uh, information of the same data type all right so these are the three main important parts of a relational database if you want to learn more i have made more videos on this topic i'll put the link in the description below if you have any doubt feel free to ask them in the comment section below thank you very much so that's it for today guys thank you very much for watching if you have any queries feel free to ask them in the comment section below if you have any suggestions please write them in the comment section below if you like the video please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you very much